How do the marketing styles of Logan Paul and Jake Paul differ these days? Let's take a look. So since the famous Japan incident, Logan has taken a much more mature approach to his marketing. His podcast, boxing, Pokemon collecting, all this stuff has helped him grow with his audience and moved him into a different realm of fame. He doesn't seem to be too focused on fake internet drama and creating clickbait titles. Now let's move on to Jake. He's got a completely different approach than Logan and I think part of that is because he's just younger. He's all about drama and he seems like he wants all the I honestly think though that Jake's probably a nice guy and this is mostly just for show. The truth is he's an absolute genius when it comes to knowing what's going to go viral and what's going to get his name into headlines. That sleepy Conor McGregor chain was one of the funniest things that I've ever seen on the internet. Like Logan though, he's also building up his boxing career. And I think that the narrative of a YouTuber becoming a pro boxer is one that could push him into the next realm of fame. Which one do you guys think is executing a better marketing plan? Follow for more.